For number 13, we're looking at the sampling distribution of p hat, which stands for the sample proportion. We're given information about the entire size of the population. We're told what n is, which is the size of the sample. And we're given the proportion for the population. So it's 0.5 or 50%. So whatever it is we're measuring here, 50% of the population falls into that category. For the first part here, we're trying to choose the phrase that best describes the shape of the sampling distribution of p hat, the sample proportion. So look at the textbook, page 416. It tells, tells us that the shape of the sampling distribution of p hat is approximately normal, provided that this holds true. And then if you read the paragraph right below the box, it talks about another criteria, which is that the sample size is no more than 5% of the population size. And so those are the two things that we would want to verify, verify here. And they both hold true. If you check out what 5% of 25,000 is, it's 1250. So this definitely holds true that our sample size is less than or equal to 5% population size. And then this one here, we would do 600 for n times our proportion value, and then times 1 minus 0 0.5, which would again be 0 0.5. So I'll multiply by 0 0.5 again, and we get 150. And 150 is greater than or equal to 10. So since they both were true, we have that uh, our shape of our sampling distribution of p hat will be approximately normal. And then for the next part, we're determining the mean of the sampling distribution of p hat, our sample proportion. And this is value you can take directly from the proportion for the entire population. So similarly to when we were looking at the sampling distribution of the, the sample means x bar in the previous problems, you get that value the mean here of your sample proportion directly from the population values. And then the formula for standard deviation is a little more complex. Again, it's on page 416, and I'll work that out in Excel. But for the mean, we got 0.5 directly. If you try to type it all the way in in Excel, you'd have to do this complicated formula. So I suggest breaking it up. We're going to do our proportion value times multiplied by 1 minus that same value. And then the formula says to divide by n. So we're going to take that result we just got, C6, and we're going to divide by 600. And I did 600 because n is 600. And then the final thing to do in the formula is take the square root. So I'm going to take the square root of that result I just got. So that's the value you get for the standard deviation. And like I said, you can type it in all at, at once, but you really have to pay attention with your parentheses. And it can get a little hectic and I just messed it up there. I had a parenthesis that was off somewhere. Excel is going to try to fix it, but you'll get the same answer if you do it all at once or separate steps. For number 14, again we're going to be looking at a distribution of the sample proportions. We have the size of our sample, the total uh, amount in our entire population, and for this population, whatever characteristic we're looking at, 60% of the population has it. All right, so to describe the sampling distribution, there's two things we should be checking. We want to make sure our sample size is less than 5% of the entire population. So 5% of 10,000 would be 500. Our sample size is definitely less than that. And then we want this to hold true as well, so we take our sample size, we multiply it by the proportion value, and then 1 minus the proportion value, which in this case would be 40%, since 60% was P, 1 minus that would be 
So I'm going to multiply by 0.4, 40%. And we get 12. And 12 is greater than or equal to 10. So since we met both those criteria, the shape of our sampling distribution would be approximately normal. To determine the mean, we just look at the proportion for the population, and that's what the mean is going to be. To determine the standard deviation, I'm going to jump into Excel. And again, I'm going to do it step by step here. 0 0.6 times 1 minus 0 0.6. Then I'm going to take that answer and divide by n, which was 50. And then I'm going to take the square root of what I just got. And there's my standard deviation. Take it out to a few more decimals. There's the standard deviation around the six decimals it said. So the six decimals it would be right there. And then the last part of the problem says what's the probability of obtaining x equals 31 or more individuals with the characteristic? And so think about it. If you have a sample of size 50 and 31, 31 people in that sample have a certain characteristic, 31 out of 50 would be 62%. So we're asking what's the chances that our sample has 62% or more people with the characteristic if in fact the population only has 60% of people with the characteristic. So let's jump into Excel. We can use the fact that our sampling distribution is approximately normal. So more than 31 out of 50 Another way to write that is more than 62%. And we can use normal distribution, om.dist. So what's the chances of 62 or more if we're given that our mean is 60% and our standard deviation is 0 0.069282. And we always type in true. And so we get this result. Now remember, Excel is always giving you the chances of your value or less. The probability of having 31 or less is what this is. So if we ever want to do a, a more than, a greater than, we have to do 1 minus our answer. So 1 minus C11. And there you get the probability of having 31 or more people who would have the characteristic in your sample. And the last part asks, what's the probability of 26 or fewer? So again, we'll check in 26 out of 50 is 0.52 or 52%. So that's quite a bit away from the, uh, the population proportion of 60%. So if we jump back into Excel, we're doing 26 or fewer less than 52%. Forgot what we said there, less than 52%. So again, since it's approximately normal, we'll do normal distribution, 52%, but our mean is 60%. Our square, our standard deviation, I can actually use cell reference here. Make sure I don't make a typo. And then here's the probability that we take a sample of size 50 and there's 26 or fewer people who have that characteristic.